All right, welcome back everybody. And this is uh, video two or one, depending on which one you click down, or if you just prefer to, uh, you know, if you want to go to the chaos one or the space fair one, just go to that one, kind of what my opinions are, of what would be good to be used in each one of them. Like I said, I got two of these boxes, the shadow spare boxes, uh, one that I was already going through with all the uh, Space Marine stuff. Now we're kind of going to go over a video with all the Chaos stuff. And that's the stuff that I got really excited about this box set. Um, and like I said, there's some nice stuff in the Space Marine, but the Chaos stuff is like everything has a place right off the bat. Like I already had figured it out where it was going to go, what it was going to do. And since luckily, you know, people leak stuff on the web all the time, you know, I pr you pretty much get to read this entire codex, mini codex before anything. Now, Games Workshop did something really cool last night about this. If you already own the Chaos Codex, and you get the new Vigilus Chaos campaign book, I want to say, they instantly update or send you a copy of a, oh, a completely revamped new Chaos Codex that includes all the demon kin, all the chapter approved, because there's a lot of changes with Chaos, and that, uh, that definitely would make life a little easier for the Chaos players. Um, but I, I think the fact that they're pushing the Black Legion, I think something big might come with the Black Legion that's gonna, you're going to see the Vigilus one. Um, so yeah, I'm just beginning it, but uh, I did get two boxes of these. Big reason why is that guy. Uh, I wanted two Venom Crawlers like there was no tomorrow. Um, also, you know, really like those guys. Um, the Obliterators, I think everybody on the web and everybody's going to say the same thing. Everybody's going to give them the Marcus Slanish so you can use Prescience and Veterans of the Long War um, on them as nonstop as possible and just let them mow everything down in their path. Um, their Assault 6 weapon that just can be like a mini last cannon to just a, a one wound auto cannon pretty much, but still um, very nasty. And that actually comes into par with this guy. Um, because you can, there is a psychic ability that allows you to reroll, if you put on your obliterators, to reroll one of the stats. Um, so if you, and the nice thing, it's not like, oh, I'm going to pick this one to reroll. You just wait. So if you roll like strength eight, like, huh, that's good enough. And then you roll like AP one, oh, you got to reroll that to maybe AP three, depending on what you're shooting. Or you go, oh, well, AP one's fine. Or that, I don't care. I'm shooting at Gretchen or something. And then you roll it as three wounds. You're like, oh, that's kind of worthless. But the big thing is, hey, if you're firing at something big, especially like a, a tank or, I mean, even a knight, let's, let's face it. I mean... You know, you drop, you drop three of these guys. I got four of them. Um, you drop three of these guys on a night and you use veterans and, and prescience. Uh, you probably are going to melt the night if you roll good on that chart, which makes it really important to have that guy. And the other psychic ability that I really like is the one that allows you to get uh, demons out in, a, in your psychic face. And you get to roll four dice and you don't have to worry about any damage to them. Uh, and he moves, so it really gets him out. So you get him out, run him, because I don't want to see you shooting with him. Um, maybe get a squad of a bloodletter bomb or a juggernaut bomb or a demonette bomb or, geez, I mean, even summoning a greater demon of corn or something like that or slanish and just slamming into somebody's front line on the first turn. Um, with that, it's just, ew, it's just one of those things. It's kind of like Blood Angels, uh, but I think that they're a lot cheaper than the Blood Angels guys. The other thing that I really like is the squad. And when I, I already saw it last night, it looks like they're already releasing a set. Um, so I'll be curious because I'm not a big fan of that. Um, rocket launchers, heavy bolters, uh, like those. I mean, it isn't too expensive and it's not too bad. It's not terrible, but for what you pay is what you get. Now, I think a lot of people have been talking about these greater possessed guys. And I've noticed that right off the bat on eBay, they are everywhere. Um, if you haven't bought the box set, uh, it's, you know, because you don't play a whole lot of this stuff, I'm like, eh, hey, whatever. Um, depending on your Chaos Army, they're selling pretty cheap. You might want to buy a set of those. Um, because their ability to get plus one strength to the units around them. Um, now, granted, there's a couple catches to it but for the most part if you build the right army you get um let me get to this picture there's a couple things that make them really really unique um 
You get to add one to the strength character resistance of all Mark of Chaos or Legion of Demon units once they are within six inches of any friendly with this ability. So, let's start talking about Black Legion. I'm curious if they're going to come out with a unique rule where they might count as having every mark. Uh, that's just me wishful thinking. But they are supposedly every chapter that went to the dark side. I'm just going to say to the dark side make life simple. But everybody that, that went up against the Emperor. So they're a breakup of anything from Lunar Wolves to Emperor's Children's to Death Guard. I mean, they've all intermixed in the Black um, the Black Legion. So it's not just, you know, the Lunar Wolves that became, you know, the Sons of Horrors. They, they're a group of everything. So I'm wondering if they're going to change a rule where, hey, if you take that, yeah, you may only get like plus one leadership, but maybe they count as all marks. And that could be huge. Now, it may not. Uh, that could just be me hoping because all that went through my head is... Whatever I make these guys, is what I'm gonna make these Venom Crawlers. And a lot of guys have already talked about it because their shooting attack and their hand attack attack is all based off their strength. Now granted, it's a 654, it degrades, no big deal, but it's 36 inch, assault die three, and you have two of them. If you add these together, that's eight. You have one more, now you're nine, so now you have Almost like a, a short range last can. Oh, granted, their ballistics go four. They're pretty quick, 10 inches, so they're going to get in range. I don't think it really matters if it was assault or not because you're going to move 10 and fire. I don't, you could run. I mean, now you're hitting on five, but you know, that's only if you're going to do something with the thing. And in hand to hand, they're not bad. So if you get them in hand to hand with a greater possessed next to them, and then maybe a squad of regular possessed Marines, um, which are pretty much unplayable right now. But maybe not so much. If they get plus one strength, you know, that eh, might be all right. That might be uh, a little better. Um, they need to make them cheaper or do something. Um, I, I hate to say it when you pay pretty much the same amount of points for possessed Marines as you do for unspaced wolf, um, Wolfens. Um, a Wolfen are just, they're just way better. I mean, they can all have Thunder, Hammer, and Storm Shields. They all have FMP. They all get to attack and hand-to-hand -hand if they're killed. They all get to... They all get to move, run, and assault. They get to deep strike, move, run, and assault. And they just they are just a guaranteed second turn, pretty much assault anywhere. Um, like I said, everybody's been talking about the obliterators. Uh, I think everybody's thinking the same thing. Um, everybody wants to give them the Marcus Lanner so you can use prescience and obviously veterans a little more. So you're going to need a lot of command points on those guys pretty quick. And it's going to draw a lot of fire because they are going to be big targets on the board. And um, Miles are really nice, too. Um, there's less parts than I thought there would be. Um, I kind of wish there were maybe more so you could do something. But they really, I mean, everything in this is pretty much just like the uh, Space Marines. It just pretty much is what it is. Um, you're just going to put them together, and you're going to paint them, and that's, that's what it is. Um, I am curious that when they do release a box of the Venom Crawler, if they don't come up with another gun. Um, it wouldn't surprise me if they didn't have double health, uh, what is it, Bale Flamers. Um, you already got the, the Lord with the Bale Flamer. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that, that could be a huge change um, in the points. You know, to go to die 6, 18-inch Bale Flamer that auto hits. So then I don't really care about bull ballistics go at that moment. Um, I did like him. I bring this up. So, how the greater possessed? You know, one that's I think everybody said everybody's kind of in agreement on this. Is even kind of line is really good. The other one that everybody's got really mixed feelings about, but he's got potential because the way he's parted together. Um, one thing is this arm. So if you don't like the bird crab claw thing, you really can put whatever you want. I mean, you could. If you have a box of possessed guys like me, I mean, here's his arm right here. You know, you could easily, easily swap that out with something different. Um, his head, let me bring this up. So you could say, eh, well, his head is fused in there. Get in here. I guess. So his head is fused in there, but not entirely because this is section is separate. So if you didn't want a bazillion things, you could get, you know, your right tool in there. Chisel that guy out, cut the guy out, smooth it down. Um, you could probably still leave the tongue there because you could do whatever, but you know, maybe get like a, you know, if you play Death Guard, um, 
you know, they got a lot of big, normal looking heads, I guess. I guess it just seemed like there was like, he's got a mouth for a body, and then he's got his mouth there, and then he's got a mouth on his arm. Um, I mean, you could change that out too. It's gonna require a lot more work um, just because that shoulder pad really catches in there. But yeah, if you get your right saw out or a sharp enough razor, be careful um, and go through it. But one of the downfalls with this arm versus the other arm, so if depending on how you switch it, and you know, he's, it's all muscle. You know, it's just this part, it's gonna be armor, the rest of it's muscle. Uh, like I said, the nice thing with this guy is because it just fits right in there, you could easily just grab a greater possess, or regular possessed guy's arm and just, I would think it would fit in there. I don't know, I'll mess around with it. I got a box of them, so, or a box of spare parts for them. Um, the Black Legion Marines, hey, they're great, they look good. Um, there's no change of rules for them, so it's not like they, uh, any of that really changed. Um, so they still are just mediocre at best. Uh, a lot of somebody had said that they're completely unplayable. I, I don't believe that anything's completely unplayable. Um, there's probably a handful of units that there's probably always a better selection. Um, I, I got one I'm gonna just kind of throw in the video that's a Space Wolf one. So, yeah, uh, you know, he can't be targeted, but uh, once he gets in a hand to hand, he'll he'll wreck any little guys. But uh, besides that, he is, I hate to say, he's feels really unusable. I don't, I, I think I used him in one game ever, <laughs> and uh, you know, Bjorn is just way more points but a way better choice or even just take on a regular venerable dreadnought um or even a wolf and dreadnought with the same setup is just a lot of less points yeah they can be targeted but there's usually more things for them to target um, like i said maybe maybe there's such a push and that's what i'm hoping oops that maybe black legion will get an additional rule versus i think it even says it in here too which it just feels like you know at least Space Marines, they get certain things. But yeah, yeah, Black Legions get, you know, plus one of their leadership. And in addition, if they advance, rapid fire weapons become assault weapons. Well, launches just changes. So all rapid fire weapons they have and all heavy weapons they have become assault weapons. Just something. Uh, or like I said, if you go with the Black Legion, that they count as having all the other marks, all four marks. Um, because, you know, have enough. He has got all four marks. I'm curious on how that's going to work, which is kind of wonder. You know, a greater possess put next to Abaddon and uh, give him plus one strength. I'm curious what they'll do with his rules. Um, I currently don't think he's. You know, I say you, for as many points as you pay for him, he reminds you of like Dante. Um, he, you don't get what you pay. You, you don't. He's not a special character that is like you bring the. They're they're cool. But they just don't like, oh, yeah, I need him. I mean, at least like, hey, you know, you take, uh, uh, I just think I said, or uh, as we out, you know, you get the invul say for all your troops around him. Um, you know, Logan Grimnar is just a beast. Um, you know, he's, he's good at taking down big tanks and big characters or, or just squads. You know, he has that option. You know, Marius Colgar, he brings, you know, a huge factor of both re, the re-rolling all hits and then he brings you two command points and he himself uh, with the new primaries is really good um drago i guess you could say he's kind of a chapter master for uh the great knights is just is just just a monster he's not completely staple but he is a monster um i was a rooted yellowman for the blood angels is if you have the points you put them in there but you, know, you can't look at a lot of the chapter masters uh, and pretty much all of them are good except for you have dante and you have, you know, for Cass, Abaddon. Um, I think all the space, you know, Cass Legion Lords, first Captain Lords, um, Typhus, Arrow Men, Karn, uh, whatever that one is for Slanish that I don't use, um, they're all pretty good. They're all usable. You know, you're not wasting points to put them on the board. They, they, they're actually decent. And it feels like right now, like in the current, setting if you use Abaddon he's just he's a lot of points so hopefully with a big model brings a lot of um, substance and maybe one of them is hey if you put him on the board all your guys count as having every mark something something that does more than just hey he's brutal in hand to hand but honestly I look at him right now and I look at the new Marius Kalgar when he got his bonus for the wound and the toughness and the attack I was like 
everybody's like, oh, you know, nobody can say I'm to Abaddon except for um, Rabu de Gilman and Hand to Hand for the Imperium. And I look at it and go, well, in lore, yeah, but Hand to Hand in the actual game, I don't know if I would want to put them up against um, Marius because it's, Marius, he only takes half damage. So you have to make a decision real quick what you're going to go with for an attack. Do you just go with single wounds with a lot of attacks or do you go with the, you know, the Talons of Horus and go die three, hoping you always roll three to do two. Otherwise, you only do one with that. Um, and the Toughness Five all said, I, I think he always would wound on a three or better, and that's it. So um, it kind of becomes a mix. So maybe they'll do something. Maybe they'll give him better stats, make him bigger, or do some big buff. Um, kind of hoping they do the same thing. And I think a lot of people are all thinking about the uh, the rematch of uh, Horus and... Um, Sanguinius, so maybe we'll see Dante show up. I mean, we did notice in the cover art uh, coming forward, you got Blood Angels. So, yeah, maybe that's going to be a big mix. Maybe he kills Dante. Maybe maybe Dante will get a new model. You know, he's one of the older ones in the lineup, too. I think he's even older than Abaddon. Um, well, there's a lot of guys that need updates. I know I saw an article yesterday that says that they were talking about, you know, the Phobos armor. I'm going to bring just the Phobos guys in real quick. But they were talking about this five years ago and working on it five years ago. So these, it's not a quick process. So when I start talking about like bringing back certain prime marks and certain things, I'm curious if we're just going to see rules pop in and here's your forward world prime mark. Go ahead and use um, Vulcan. Um, I think obviously the, the all the Chaos prime marks, they would have to make demon prime marks. Uh, none of them, I think, ever retained any of their stuff. I think they all took demonhood of some sort or another. But... Anyways, like I said, just kind of want to go over that, kind of let you know what I'm going to do with it. Um, I don't think I'm ever going to put these guys together until um, the Vigilus uh, campaign book hits. Because um, I want to look at formations and I want to know what, what would make sense with them. You know, because right now, I mean, I can put them all together, but... <coughs> excuse me, I got a lot of spare parts, so I can always flip... Almost everything. I could give all bolt guns, you know, if they do something. I mean, I think the uh, beta bolter rule is probably going to become a reality. So I think people just need to get used to it. It's not overpowering. Most of the time, your Marines have to move anyways. There's only a handful of units that wouldn't. And um, and I think it, might, it put Primaris from being not really usable over tactical squads to now being, you know, usable. Well, I mean, that 30-inch, um, especially with Death Watch, that 30-inch and special bolt ammunition... Um, can make a huge thing, but I, they got to do something. Um, I think all of us poor chaos, I mean, I kind of play everything, um, but all of us poor chaos players, it's just, to make a usable army, you you literally are just using cultists for your troops just to get the points, because you have to go almost specialize all troops, or you're going, you know, Thousand Sons, or you're going um, Death Guard, because that would be the only other option you have. So, anyways, just want to do a quick video, kind of, Say my thoughts are on them. I'm going to say there's a very high probability a lot of this stuff is actually going to get the Marcus Landish. But, but what if Black Legion gets it where they count as having all marks if Abaddon's in the field? I would almost take no changes at all if they did that. Because then everything's usable. You can to mix everything. I mean, that's what he's supposed to do, brings everybody together, right? Um, that if they did do that work. If you know, if they're Black Legion, they count as having all marks if Abaddon's in the field. Boy, wouldn't that be something? You could take whatever demons you wanted for troops and have them deploy. You get to use all your psychic powers um, on everything. You know, everything would have the mark. Um, and then all of a sudden, Obliterators could be Black Legion. Because it's just really funny that, you know, everybody says, and you, know, you look on here, you know, everybody paints them, and everything you see from Games Workshop is everything's Black Legion. Usually there's always something. There's something in the... You know, coming up that makes sense for that. Just like I don't really see these guys being that usable at all. I mean, I, I literally was thinking I have so many interceptors of just, you know, I've actually did this because I, I like the um, the uh, Reavers arms and stuff like that and things like that where I've actually shaved things down and did stuff to put them on regular um, primaries. So why can't I just do the same thing here and just go, okay, well, we'll just put primary shoulder pads on and Shave this down and call it a day. Just call them Primaris, uh, Primaris Interceptors. Cut all the little things off of their their backpack. But the, it's just, there's something. 
there's something coming um, where the, it's going to make sense to maybe have those guys being armed that way. Uh, the lieutenant, I, I don't know if he'll ever be usable besides just, you know, if you need an extra HQ. But everything in the chaos site has a place. Um, it's all usable. Um, and if you go to eBay, they like said you can, if you didn't buy a box set and you play cast, you're looking like, oh, I don't need more chaos models. You can get Critter Princess pretty cheap. Obliterator, I think people might be asking way too much money for them. I looked last night and this morning and they were asking like 40, 50 bucks for two of them. Uh, which I don't know. I mean, I guess if you think about it, um, Games Workshop will probably sell a box of three of them for like 75 bucks and they'll probably put mutilator parts and make them completely interchangeable. It'll be 80 bucks. They'll probably be like Centurions. Um, which nobody will use mutilator, so it, it's almost pointless for them, I think, to do that unless they did something unique like, you know, mutilators can now be armed like Centurions where they get hurricane bolters or something. No count is moving for shooting. So, anyways, everybody, you guys have a great day and good luck gaming.